Hoshin Enji Japanese, Feng Shen Yan Yi Hepburn, Hoshin Enji, also known as Soul Hunter, is a Japanese manga series by Ryu Fujisaki. Hoshin Enji is inspired by the Chinese literary classic Investiture of the Gods, a Shenmo novel. The story involves the Chinese mythology and history of China, in particular the last members of the Yin, Yin dynasty aka Shang dynasty and the plot to overthrow them. The manga series was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump magazine from 1996 to 2000 and compiled in 23 Tankaban volumes by Shuisha. Viz Media acquired the rights to the manga, with bi-monthly releases starting June 5, 2007. The manga has been re-released and re-compiled into fewer larger volumes with new cover art, illustrations and afterwards. The 18 Kanzanban volumes were released periodically between July 2005 and April 2006 in Japan only. The story has been adapted into a 26 episodes anime series titled Senkai Den Hoshin Enji, broadcast on TV Tokyo in 1999 and released in North America on DVD as Soul Hunter in 2001. In January 2009, Shomei TV announced their intentions to remake the anime series if they received 10,000 signatures. A new 23-episode anime television series adaptation titled Haku Hoshin Enji and featuring a new cast aired from January to June, 2018. Fujisaki also wrote a short manga series that was serialized in Weekly Young Jump from April to June, 2018. Topic. Synopsis Topic. Setting The fantastic world of Hoshin Enji encompass both the pre-historical world in which primitive human society coexist with the revered divine gods and goddesses and the futuristic world in which highly technological weaponry, combat strategy, as well as futuristic visions, are employed. Palpei, the sacred weapons used by Doshi and Senin alike, are versatile instruments created Senin. The seven super palpe were the ones left from the original people, and all the rest are copies made from those. Palpe can only be used by Sendo, those born with Senen bones which are trained to be used to power palpe. If someone born with these bones is not trained, then they become a Tenen Dushi, and the potential of their skeleton creates almost supernatural strength or speed, however, they would never be able to use a palpe. It is possible to transplant Senen bones into a normal human, as in the case with Yunin, but it does not appear to be a common practice. There are such beings as human palpei, that is, a living being created from a palpei. They all have a core they are built around, and can take extensive damage and be rebuilt so long as the core remains intact. Besides palpei, there are spells, an ancient form of magic rarely used by the time series takes place. The only ones seen in the series are the peaches that can turn water into sake, Yuzin's transformation technique, and Nedu's various fighting and healing abilities. <laughs> Topic. Plot The story is set in legendary China. A beautiful female fox spirit named Daki da Ji is controlling the emperor Chuo, Zhou Wang Chuo, and the ruling in Yin dynasty, and is using her power over him to do evil in the nation. An immortal in training named Takobo, Tai Gong Wang Takobo, is chosen by the great immortal sages for the Haoshan project, Feng Shen Ji Hua, to seal away or destroy the evil demons that infest the world. In the course of his adventures, Takobo gathers other powerful companions and sets out to seal away the demons and eventually destroy the fox spirit Daki. There are significant plot differences between the novel, the manga series and the anime. Topic. Manga plot The 23 manga book series follows the adventures of Takobo and his trusty. Ray Ju, Ling Shou Spirit Beast or Sacred Beast, Su Pu Shan, Si Bu. Takeobo was given a mission by Genshi Tensen, Yuan Shi Tian Zun, Takeobu's mentor and the leader of the Senen Xian Ren world, Kunlun, to complete the Haoshan project. 
The goal of the Hoshin project, as explained by Genshitensen, is to trap Daki and her minions in a middle world between the Senen world and the human world, renamed Shishin, Shen deity or gods world, named Shinkai, realm of the gods. Takobo's mission is to hunt down the 365 people whose names were written on the Hoshin scroll. As Takobo defeats and seals off each of the 365 people on the scroll, their souls are instantly transported to the Hoshindai a floating island made to trap souls and sealed there until all the 365 souls are gathered. At first, Takobo refused to take up such a troublesome mission, but when threatened with expulsion from Konran, he quickly relented. After that, he was given a Pao Pei, Bao Bei Whip of the Gods, Da Shen Bian De Shinbin, in Chinese literally. God's hitting whip, as his weapon along with Supushan. Upon leaving Kanran, Takobu and Supushan immediately met up with the first person listed on the Haoshan scroll, the all powerful Shinkuyu Shen Gong Bao and his riding beast, Kokotenko. Hey Dian. After a short battle between the two Dushi, Dao Shi, in which Taikubu was easily defeated, Taikubu suspected that the order of the Haoshan scroll is sorted according to strength, Shinkuyu being the first on the list, and decides to avoid fighting him. Aiming for the core of the whole problem, he enters the capital, Choka, and defeating one of Daki's sisters, Okijin, who reverted to her original form, a stone lute, he used her to enter the service of the emperor in order to spot Daki's weakness. Furious with her sister's plight, Daki contrives a plan to reclaim her sister. Taikubu, overwhelmed by her guile, was defeated and was about to be thrown into the Taban a pit full of poisonous snakes along with some of the Kyo clan, when during a commotion caused by them, Buzu Kohiko saved him. It was then that he came to a realization that there was no way he could take on Daki and her followers, on his own. That's why he set off searching for strong fighters to join him on his quest to rid the world of Daki. Taikubu soon met up and joined forces with Nataku, Naza Reishinshi, Lei Gen Z Ko Tenka, Huang Tian Hua and Yuzin. Yang Jin. As the series progresses, Takobo slowly realizes that there is no hope in disrupting Daki's stranglehold on the Yin dynasty or her influence over Cho. As such, he abandoned the kingdom and requested that Qi Shou Ji Chong form a new monarchy to rival the Yin, renamed the Shu dynasty Zhou with their new emperor, Buo, Wu Wang who is the second son of Qi Hatsu who had died due to self-starvation caused by Daki serving him his son as a hamburger during his capture. Taikubu then became the military advisor to Zhou, helping the western army conquer the lands once owned by Yin. Bunchu, Wen Zhang the senior advisor to the Emperor Chuo in the country of Yin and also a Pao Pei user, sees Taikubu as an obstacle and sends out some of his best Dushi companions to attack Taikubu and company. The ensuing fights between the two groups eventually lead to the involvement of almost all members of the two Senen worlds, Kanran where Taikubu originates and Qingao Tou Jinao Dao where Bunchu learnt his arts. At the climax of the Senen War, both worlds were completely destroyed with hundreds of souls sealed into the Haoshan Dai. And though Bunchu was eventually defeated, Taikubu lost many friends and his home in the process. Eventually, after Taikubu and the Zhou army successfully defeated Cho and officially declared the fall of the Yin dynasty, Taikubu and company decided to leave the human world and return to what's left of the Senen world. It is then revealed to him that there is possibly a third Senen world, one that belongs to Daki, and is probably where she and the last of her minions fled to when the Yin country was finally conquered. Genshitensen also reveals to Taikubu that the real goal of Haoshan Project isn't just about defeating Daki, it is about defeating the eternal being supporting Daki throughout all her chaos years, Joka, Nu Hua, one of the ancients. The ultimate enemy of Haoshan Enji, Joka is a J-U-I-K, one of five aliens which landed on the Earth, millions of years ago. Joka had a dream to recreate her home world on Earth, which had self-destructed some time ago, but the other aliens disagreed and enclosed her in a glass cage. Later, she was able to move about in her soul form and direct the trend of history to her liking. This is when she met up with Daki, and the two started working together to make Joka's dream come true. Each time history diverted from what Joka wants it to become, she completely destroyed the civilization that existed and started all over again, like a child molding a perfect sand castle. 
No one really knows how many civilizations Joka had destroyed throughout time in her pursuit to perfectly replicate her old home, but when asked why she's trying to do this, Joka simply states that she would like to know what would have happened if her home planet had not made those simple mistakes that led to its own destruction. After hearing the ultimate truth, the Senans retaliated against Joka. Soon, she finally decided to destroy Earth once and for all, and find another world in order to replicate her old home. The battles raged for a while before the deceased Taikubu, who had died recently, reappeared in front of his comrades again. This time, it is revealed that he was once one of the J.U.I.K. As well, the last of the five aliens and was left on this earth for the sole purpose of killing Joka once and for all. Using the energy of his friends as well as those souls trapped in the Haushan Dai, Taikubu, now renamed Fucky, was finally able to defeat Joka and release the world from her influences. Just prior to this happening, Daki somehow managed to take over Joka's body for a time and merged with the life energies of the earth, becoming the mother of all life. After the fight with Joka ended, Joka selfishly asked Taikubu to disappear together with her, afraid of being left alone again and since Taikubu felt that he had done what he had set out to do, complies also due to severe injuries in the last fight. When he was about to fade away, Daki came and saved his life, thus reviving him. In the epilogue, Yuzen was made the headmaster of the new Senen world, with Chuki, Bunchu's only disciple, representing the Yukai, demons, and Nento Dujin, ex Junison, who helped defeat Joka, representing the humans, supporting him. Genshi Tensen manages the ex Haushindai, which houses all the souls which had been Haushined, and dispatches them to the human world if their help is needed. Since these souls are invisible to the human eye, they are able to solve matters without being seen. When Supushan and Bukichi went to the human world to update Bo on the happenings of the Senen world, they found out that Taikubu is still alive he visited Bo before they arrived and went in search for him but to no avail as Taikubu seemed keen on avoiding them to the extent of following them behind their backs without them knowing, and somehow prevents the people they meet from revealing his whereabouts. In the end, Supushan and Bukichi returned to the Senen world to request Yuzen's help. While Taikubu was lazing around, Shinkuyu approached him and wanted a duel, but he left saying that it would be boring if his only rival were to perish so quickly by his hand. Taikubu then disappeared to places unknown. <laughs> Topic. Anime plot The 26-episode anime storyline somewhat follows the main plot of the manga, with the young 72-year-old Dushi, apprentice to a Senen Taikubu told to go from the Senen immortal world to Earth and specifically Yin China to hunt down 365 renegade evil spirits in order to bring down the fall of Queen Daki, a fox spirit who has enslaved the emperor. Taikubu recruits Nataku, a human, weapon hybrid, and Reishinshi, a would-be vigilante, in his quest to hunt down Daki. He is later joined by Yuzen, the Tensai genius Dushi of Kunlun and Ko Tenka, the son of the Duke Ko Hiko. He also rides a talking hippopotamus actually a Riju named Supashan, who remains the most popular character of the series. Kisho, the Lord of the West, is a man who is unwittingly destined to found the Zhou dynasty. Imprisoned for trying to stop Daki's evil, he suffers a grievous guilt when his son is murdered and served to him as a meal, causing him to refrain from eating. Escaping from his captors, he returns with an army to overthrow the Yin with the help of Taikubu. In the midst of this historical drama, the Immortal High Council, a group of three immortals seemingly of a higher position than Genshi Tensen, is plotting some form of magical spell that requires the capturing of many souls, which made them deliberately lie about the purpose of the Haushan project to Taikubu. The anime ends with Daki's death due to the combined efforts of Taikubu's group and Shinkuyu, with the Junison making a short appearance near the end and no mention of Joka. Topic Media Topic Manga Hoshin Enji is written and illustrated by Ryu Fujisaki. 
It is based on the Japanese translation novel by Tsutomu Anyo of the Chinese literary classic Investiture of the Gods, published by Kodansha between November 8, 1988 and January 6, 1989. The manga series was serialized in Shuisha's weekly Shonen Jump magazine from June 24, 1996 until November 6, 2000. The series was compiled into 23 Tankaban volumes published by Shuisha between November 1, 1996 and December 22, 2000. The manga has been re-released and re-compiled into fewer larger volumes with new cover art, illustrations and afterwards. The 18 Kanzanban volumes were released periodically between July 4, 2005 and April 4, 2006 in Japan only. In North America, Viz Media announced at the New York Comic Con 2007 that they had acquired the rights to the manga. The first volume was published on June 5, 2007, and the last volume on June 7, 2011. In 2018, Fujisaki wrote a short manga series that was serialized in Weekly Young Jump from April 26 to June 14. A Tankaban volume was released on July 19, 2018. Topic: Anime. Topic: First series, 1999. Hoshin Enji was adapted into an anime television series titled Senkai Den Hoshin Enji, produced by Studio Dean and directed by Junji Nishimura. The 26-episode series was broadcast on TV Tokyo between July 3 and December 25, 1999. In North America, the series was first licensed by ADV Films in 2001 under the name Soul Hunter. In 2016, Discotech Media re-licensed the series for a single DVD collection release on June 28. In January 2009, Shomei TV announced their intentions to remake the anime series if they received 10,000 signatures. Topic: <laughs> Second Series 2018. A new 23-episode anime television series adaptation titled Hakyu Hoshin Enji, produced by Sea Station and featuring a new cast aired from January 12 to June 29, 2018. The series is directed by Masahiro Aizawa, with Natsuko Takahashi in charge of the series scripts, characters designed by Yoshimitsu Yamashita and music composed by Maiko Iyuchi. Crunchyroll streamed the series, while Funimation produced a simuldub. Topic. Other media A video game based on the manga was created for the PlayStation and the Wonderswan. Several audio dramas were released in 2005. Four characters of Hoshin Enji appear in Jump Ultimate Stars for Nintendo DS. Out of these, only Takobo can be controlled by the player. The other three appear as either support Sodaki or help Komas Otenken and Subyushan. Topic. See also Investiture of the Gods, the ancient Chinese novel which was the inspiration for this series. Mystic Heroes, a video game adaptation of the novel Investiture of the Gods.